Tom. I'm here with Diva Iman from National Geographic's new show, Welcome to Earth. Hi, Diva. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for, for being here. I was curious to know, how did the opportunity to take part in Welcome to Earth come about? I know you've been a National Geographic marine biologist explorer for a while, but um, how did you get involved with this series in particular? So funny. Um, I got an email and I actually thought it was a joke and I didn't respond. I just thought it was spam or something. Um, and then they sent a follow up email and I was like, oh, my gosh, OK, this must be true. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that was it. Then a meeting and um, yeah, it's been a, an, a wild ride and one that, you know, has been really life changing ultimately. Well, and, so and don't uh, delete emails, basically. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah but, but still be careful of what links you click. Um, <laughs> now you, you get to take Will Smith down in a submersible. Um, did you get to plan that itinerary? How did that conversation work? Because I know each episode has an, an overarching theme. Um, with different side missions. So how did how did it come about where you decided to take him down and what were you trying to uh, to show him? Yeah, so we dove down um, to a kilometer depth in the Bahamas, um, so which is in the Caribbean, which is where I'm from. And uh, the goal of our dive was really to explore the theme of color. And we do that, you know, as you go deeper, not only does the light fade, but also the colors change. And ultimately, when we get to the deepest point, he learns this lesson that, hey, there is lots of color, even in one of the darkest parts of the planet. Yeah, it was it was a beautiful scene. And uh, it, it uh, you know, reminded me of Avatar quite a bit with all the. No. Yeah, uh -huh, definitely. And I think a lot of James Cameron's um, inspiration does actually come from deep sea life. So mm -hmm. there you go. Now you get to do all these other side missions. I think you're in almost every episode of, of the series, um, or no? Four of six. Four yeah. of the six. Okay. That's, that's, yeah. that's more than half. Yeah, that's um, good. That's good. <laughs> but, but you get to do a lot of, a lot of incredible things and, and see some amazing things. For you personally, what's the most amazing thing you've ever seen um, as your time, in your time as a marine biologist uh, in the wild? Oh my gosh, that, that is the hardest question that I ever get asked. I mean... And this is the thing, right, is that I, I do get that opportunity, that privilege to see so many incredible things. And I think, um, you know, every time you go down into the deep ocean, you know that you're probably going to see something new, whether that is a new habitat, a new behavior, a new species. Um, and there's something really remarkable about being one of the first people on the planet to lay eyes on something. Um, but I mean, everything from glowing sharks to hairy chested blind white crabs that live um, next to, you know, 400 degree water to anemones with like eight foot long tentacles. It's the deep sea is an incredible place. And I wish it was a place that more people got the chance to experience. And so Welcome to Earth really does help help to shed a light, you know, to shine a light on this really dark and unexplored part of our planet. I was curious to know if you were in Will Smith's shoes, if you were taking part in a series like this and got to pick a National Geographic Explorer to take you and show you something really cool about our planet, um, who would you pick? What would you, what would you want to see? What would you want to do? Oh my gosh, that is such a hard question. Even <laughs> harder than the last question, which... Um, so she's actually quite a good friend as well. Sure. <laughs> so yeah, I'd probably fair. choose National Geographic Explorer, uh, Dr. Asha DeVos. She is honestly like probably one of, you know, one of my main forms of inspiration. She's um, also a woman of color. She's from Sri Lanka. And she was the first person that I was able to look at and say, hey, this is possible. She's done it. So she does incredible work um, with sperm whales and I and lots of whales. And um, I would just love the chance to be able to be with her doing work in her home country's waters or anywhere else in the world for that matter. She's just been a real source of inspiration. One of the things you say to Will Smith during your um, descent is part of the reason you're doing what you're doing is you do want to empower um, other, other girls, other people of color to see that, that science is for everybody. Um, are there certain things or, or uh, programs that you take part of where, where fans who see this show and get inspired um, by what you say and do in, in that moment uh, can, can learn more and, and find out how to follow a path similar to yours to kind of continue the work you're, you're doing? 
So there are some great ways to, to really learn more about the ocean and the deep ocean, especially. And I think that's something that's changed drastically from when I was young. Um, you know, there are, for instance, just to give a couple examples, there are like three ships, the Falcor, the Oceanus Explorer and the Nautilus. And they are remarkable because they go out, out far into the ocean and basically stream their exploration of the deep sea live on the internet. And it means that you can be there with the scientists seeing what they're seeing at the exact moment that they're seeing it, hearing what they're seeing, and really being a part of that exploration. And there is something that is truly remarkable about just sitting in your living room or your kitchen in London or in LA and watching six kilometers deep off Hawaii, for instance, or in the Mariana Trench, right? So that is just, if if you want deep sea TV, that is one place to, to look for sure. Because I think one of the biggest things we can do um, about the ocean, about the deep ocean is really to, to just talk about it, to share it, to, you know, get more people to engage with it. And that is one of the best ways to do that. What was your source of inspiration for, for becoming a marine biologist? What did, what did you see, hear, or do that made you want to follow this path? Yeah, so that's a great question. Um, so I'm from Trinidad and Tobago in the Caribbean. And, you know, 30 odd years ago, there wasn't really, you know, I spent a lot of time basically in nature. There wasn't that much else to do. So it was in my garden or in the forest or on the beach or in the ocean. And um, and that was really where that, that love and that spark sort of blossomed um, about the ocean and about nature in general. Um, but, you know, that, that spark really was about like coral reefs close to shore and mangroves and seagrass beds. And it, and I just beyond like looking out to sea and wishing I knew what was out there. Right. That was kind of where my relationship with the deep sea ended. And, and it really wasn't until I went to university much later that I was able to you know, really begin to understand, hey, there is so much more to the ocean than what we see in the shallows. And a lot of it is pretty amazing. And a lot of it's pretty unexplored. So there's a lot of work to do. And it's a great place to begin to answer questions and see things that no one's seen before. For a last question, I was just curious if you had like a dream funded project from National Geographic, um, could be could be TV, could be a book or, or even a magazine article. Um, what's what's your your wish list item that that National Geographic could potentially fulfill? So that's actually an easy one. <laughs> um, I think you know I'm from the Caribbean, and it is the biggest ecosystem there is the deep ocean, and yet so little of it has ever been explored, seen with human eyes, explored with cameras, anything. And so my dream gig would basically be to have a ship complete with deep sea equipment and be able to go around the Caribbean, not just exploring it, but also taking along um, other scientists and other students with me so that we could all learn together and explore this incredible region together. That sounds awesome. Um, and <laughs> hopefully, hopefully some of our viewers will be able to take part in that with you um, when it becomes reality. Thank you so much for your time, everybody. You can check out Welcome to Earth on Disney Plus from National Geographic starting December 8th.